you guys. Welcome to part three of my movies non TV DVD collection. Um, let's continue on. First up is the Batman Legacy. This contains the four 90s Batman films, so Batman 1989. Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Um, I haven't, I've seen the first three. I still haven't forced myself to watch all, of, all the way through Batman and Robin yet, but I'll get to it eventually. Um, then I have Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Um, both are brilliant films. Um, yeah. I haven't watched The Dark Knight on DVD yet, I've, yes, I'll, um, then I have Batman Gotham Knight, um, again, haven't watched it, um, a lot of these films I haven't actually watched on DVD yet, I've, like, watched it before, but, um, yeah, um, then I have which is yeah. um, it like Beckham. Um, yeah, have a I've seen. I watched it for um, English in year eleven, but um, haven't watched it since I got the DVD. Um, then I have Beautiful Girls, another Natalie Portman film. Um, haven't watched it. Um, then there's Brigadoon, which is a musical. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, it has Gene Kelly in it. I wish they had included my mother's wedding day from the stage musical. Which, yeah, it's just a, that's a really fun um, song in that, but they didn't include it, so... Um, then there is Cabaret, which, yeah, I really liked it. Um, if you haven't seen Cabaret, I recommend checking it out. Um, it stars Liza Minnelli. Um, and I have to say, she looks an awful lot like her mother. Um, just has, yeah, she just looks like a younger version of um, Judy Garland. And, um, yeah, Cabaret is a really good... Um, good movie. Um, then there's Calamity Jane, which I love. Um, I saw a local stage production of it um, back in 2005. But yeah, if you haven't watched Calamity Jane, I'd, I recommend it. Um, so it's like, yeah, Doris Day, Howard Keel. Can't really go wrong with that cast. Then I have Camelot, um, which has Richard Harris in it. Um, yeah, just I really like um, again musical. I really like um, like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, this one, yeah, it stars Richard Harris and Vanessa Redgrave. I think that's how you say a name. That's her name. Um, yeah, really good. Um, and then there is Cat. Um, I love yeah. Um, if you haven't already guessed, I adore music full, so um yeah, cats Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um I know some people don't like it but I do. <laughs> um again, 'cause I well I love cats and 'cause I said um I've always said that um when I finally get my own cat, um, it's gonna be named after the characters from cats, so <laughs> Um, makes me sad, but, oh well. Um, and then I have Chicago. Um, yeah, also really brilliant. Um, just, yeah, it's got catchy songs and, yeah. Because when I was in each hand, my friends and I used to, um, had this thing where we would, um, each have, like, sit a part of Cell Block Tango. Um, I was... I used to always um, say um, Selma's line, like, solo bit, 
And then um, have Dr. Horrible's cinema vlog. Again, amazing. It's just, um, it's by Josh Whedon. And um, yeah, the songs, and it yeah, it has um, Neil Patrick Harris and Nathan Fillion in it. Um, if you haven't watched it, um, yeah, you have to see it. Then I have Dixie Chicks Top of the World Live. Um, I like yeah, like the Dixie Chicks. Um, but then I'm into country and stuff, so but it was a, it was fun to like watch it. Um, then I have Everyone Says I Love You. Haven't watched it this one yet, but um, it seems like a really good movie. And again got this for Natalie Portman. Um, then there's Evita. Um, this is the Madonna version. Um, I actually didn't think she did a, th that bad a job playing Eva Peron. Because um, I know some people yeah, didn't like... I think some people didn't like her performances. Her performance, but I didn't think it was that bad. And, um, yeah, another Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Um, then I have Fame. Haven't seen Fame yet, but I haven't. <laughs> and I have Fiddler on the Roof, which is really good. Um, I've seen that. Um, yeah. It's just another classic musical in the collection. Um, and then I have Galaxy Quest. You have to see Galaxy Quest if you haven't seen it. It's just so... Uh, it's just a really great send up of um well it's meant to like a send up of the original Star Trek. Um it's just really funny, um like it's one of my favourite lines is when they're in the um oh, I forgot the check what the what they're called but um, because when they come out of it she's like, Whoever wrote this episode should die and yeah, it's just one of the funniest quotes in my And of course Sam Rockwell was he was really good in this. Um then I have a triple movie pack. It's Grace, Ghost and an Office and a Gentleman. Out of the three I've only seen Grease but I haven't watched it since I got it on D V D. Um Yeah, I just, um, I've got Grease on VHS, but, yeah. <laughs> and then I have Grease 2, which I haven't seen, and I know it's not as good as the first one, but I just wanted it for the sake of having it. Then I have Guys and Dolls. Um, I've seen the movie before, um, just haven't, like, watched, um, yeah, again, haven't watched it since I got it on DVD, but yeah, just a really fun musical. Um, then to finish off, I have this part. I have Gypsy, the 1962 version with Natalie Wood, and Gypsy, the 1930, not 1930, 1993 version with Bette Midler. Um, but yeah, haven't seen either one, but as I said before, I have the original Broadway cast, like I've listened to the original Broadway cast and I liked the music, so yeah. Um, that finishes part three of my movies non-TV DVD collection. Um, stay tuned for part four. Bye!